for our make code minute, what I'll talk about is using the accelerometer uh, in order to change the direction of the motors. Inside of input, we have on shake, and this is uh, just a sort of easy way to get at some of the accelerometer functions, uh, which means if the values change rapidly on pretty much any axis, it will register that you have shaken the device. Let's see, I need to add, oh, I haven't added the Cricut. Okay, so I'm gonna add the Cricut package, or I had and I didn't see it. Uh, here you see this little Cricut section. So now in Cricut, I will say uh, stop motor one, and I'll duplicate that, and do a stop motor and switch that to two. So that just means when it bumps into something, it would just simply stop. Uh, now, I've done some other fancy stuff that we'll look at in the real version where I change the lights and make some sounds and stuff. But really, if you just want your bumper car to hit something, back up, turn, and keep going, we will first stop the motors. Uh, I think that's good practice rather than immediately switching them uh, into reverse. Then I will switch them into reverse, which is with this Cricut set motor inverted. Um, and I'll duplicate that. Now remember, since mine started out for whatever weird reason already inverted, this is, this is switching them by saying inverted um, to on. And you know what, I'm gonna, let's see, can I pull everything out of this one? I think it'll favor this one if I get rid of that. Yeah, let's delete that one. Okay, uh, now that they're inverted, I'm gonna run them. So under Cricut, set run motor one, and I'll go to about, say, 70% speed. Duplicate that, same for motor two. And now I'm going to have it pause for a moment, which means it'll let that run. So if we do, let's say, a half a second, it's 500 milliseconds. Now it's gonna back up for half a second. And what I'll do at this point is I'm gonna duplicate my stop motor two. And whether this is left or right will depend on how you plug things in. So I'll stop the second motor, uh, and then I can run the first motor again for, let's say, half a second. And then I can put that uh, pair of motors into forward motion again. So I'll reverse the uh, polarity of those by doing inverted. And now we can run the motors. And you can see here you get to start duplicating stuff uh, instead of getting it from the category over here. So I'm gonna run both of these motors at 100%. And if you run them at different speeds, you're gonna turn. Uh, so that, let me get that out of my face a little bit. That will give us the behavior of we bump into something, it registers, it's gonna stop the motors, it's gonna flip their orientation, it's going to run them at a medium speed backwards, it's gonna stop one of the motors, run one of them on its own, which is what's gonna give us this kind of three point turn backup kind of uh, action. And then it will flip the motors into run in the other direction and off we go again. So that is your make code six minutes. It wasn't a minute, uh, I checked. That is your make code six minutes that will uh, allow a cart with two motors to bump into something, register it, and back up and get out of the way. And it can keep doing this until it turns all the way around if it's in a sort of a, a U-turn cul-de-sac kind of thing. Um, and we'll, we'll play around with that once we build the bot over on my workbench. So uh, let's actually take a look at that in action. Whoa. Two again, two again, that's a new robot, and off it goes.